Hi everyone, it's me, Joseph Krupper or Miss Callie G, whichever you want. Um, I am very backlit right now and that's because I can't find a way to hook in this ring light into the wall, but that's fine because at least there's not a glare on my glasses. So, you know, there's, it's all give and take. There's some good with the bad. <laughs> The last outfit that I did on this series of videos was the Shania Twain recreation, right? Then the month after that, I ended up doing, I literally just bought a costume from Party City. Um, it was it was an Ellie Sattler, Laura Dern in Jurassic Park look. So that was cute. You can see that here. And then the other one that I did was uh, Mr. Rogers. I just got done doing a Mr. Rogers reading time and I went to a nice store in town and tried on a couple of their red sweater type things and eventually landed on this one and I looked pretty cute I think. Um, it Mr. Rogers has like a zipper on his, his mother made him actually all of his, his sweater slash cardigans and yes but so I just I bought one because I don't really know how to crochet or knit a sweater so that was that now we are on to Halloween and so of course I'm going to be making my own Halloween costume <laughs> the thing about this though is that I am moving I'm moving to a house that I will hopefully own I keep saying hopefully as if it's not actually happening um, because for a second I didn't think it was happening. My whole schedule is messed up. Instead of going into those details, I'm just gonna say I'm really busy and I'm finding myself today on a Sunday with no more boxes to pack with and also a project to undergo that normally I would have a normal amount of time to get done, but instead I have to probably rush to get it done. And so I'm going to take the time that I know that I have in order to get as much done as possible. Now, I could have bought this costume online again. I could have. Miss Barb sent me links to do so. Um, and this is also, I should mention, in the middle of me doing a couple other projects, I was I was working on a Powerpuff Girls recreation for me and Miss Nikki and uh, Lexi Nagahide, but that was canceled because of the pandemic. So I, you won't get to see that until it's done. And it could be months from now. Who knows? I'm ending up being a lot more strict on my pandemic restrictions for myself than it seems like everyone else is. Uh, no tea, no shade. That's just the facts. So I don't know when I'm going to be able to get those done. Anyways, that being said, here's the start of the actual video. Hi, today we're recreating... No. Hi, today we're going to do a femme look with, no. Today, no. It's Halloween time. Well, it's actually September. It's Halloween time. And I'm going to be doing a Willy Wonka inspired femme presented Willy Wonka outfit. And that's it. Because the theme for reading time is sweet and spooky. And so I was like, who is a sweet icon, Willy Wonka? Um, say what you will. Uh, lots of lots of things to be said about Roald Dahl and Willy Wonka. It is an iconic look. And so I'm going to be doing that look, but like in my own way. And so a couple weeks ago, I went to the Joanne. I was just like looking around. I think I was trying to find stuff for something else, but I just ended up buying stuff for Willy Wonka because I had gift cards and there was a sale on patterns. So look through the patterns. I have this simplicity pattern. Um, this is clearly, this one is giving Kingdom Hearts, right? Or something like that. The, the big zipper. I haven't even played Kingdom Hearts. I recognize it. This one, not so much. And I thought it'd be an interesting way. I thought maybe I could amend this somehow to either do like little button loops on one side and then buttons on the other, or just put in a zipper and call it good. But this is the jacket that we're gonna look for. We're gonna we're gonna do this. I really like this one because it's very femme. The um, the in the stomach portion is brought in and tailored for that specifically instead of like you'll see here just. A, a plain waistcoat type thing. Not waistcoat. 
it's like an overcoat type thing. Not very feminine presenting. This one's very feminine presenting. I really like how long it goes down to the, to the ground. Very cool, I think. And then also, yes, yeah, so I was able to go to the Joanne and I found all of this fabric. It's like velvety. I think I found it in the exterior fabrics. I'm not sure, but it's cool. It's really wrinkled as you can probably see. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of ironing before I cut this out, but I think this is a cool color and cool texture. So that's what that's what we're gonna be trying to do. It's kind of dirty. I think it was, it was on sale. So of course I bought it. Okay, there's one part. Now the thing about his outfit is that he has like a cool vest underneath that you can clearly see. With this design, you're not gonna be able to see a vest. So I was thinking, what else can I do to kind of bring in the other color? The nice thing about packing right now is that I was going through my old fabric and I found some things that I didn't even remember that I had. Just some cooler, crazier patterns. There's this one that I kind of like. And then this, I think, the, neither of these are exactly what Gene Wilder is wearing in the movie, but this kind of gives a vibe that I'm looking for. And so I was thinking, okay, I don't think that either of these have enough to do a vest. You wouldn't be able to see a vest anyways. I was looking through my old patterns. This is a pattern I bought a long time ago. And there's all these kinds of different accessories. The one that stood out to me the most was this bow tie. And I'm thinking what I can either do is make this, um, what is it called? A dicky? Make either this and pair it with this or just get a shirt, which probably is what I'm gonna end up doing. And yeah, make this bow tie out of one of these fabrics. So we shall see. That should be, that's gonna be the second part of this because it is an accessory. I'll try to get the main part done first. We're going towards this mode of sewing in between moving and moving in between sewing. And I hope that it works out. I hope I'm not just making this video. I'm gonna have to delete it later in shame. Let's get cracking. Hi, voiceover Joe here. So one of the things that I wish I had done differently with this project is you'll see that I'm cutting out the second to biggest size, the 22, I believe, on this pattern. And I do wish that I had not done that. It does fit me in the end. However, it is kind of tight. And part of the problem with this fabric that I did not foresee is that it rubs up against anything I'm wearing underneath kind of wrong, so. There were a lot of these panels for the bottom portion of the coat. And one thing you'll see me start to do here is I actually had, I didn't cut out enough of this piece and I had just enough to cut out the rest. So just be making sure you're paying attention to how many panels you need to cut out. Oh, hello there. Well, I'm just uh, examining these sewing instructions. You see, what I've been doing today is essentially going back and forth between sewing and making sure that my house is packed. Whenever I get bored with one, I just switch to the other one. That's a lie. I've mostly been packing and I realized that my cake decorating kit was completely contaminated and rusting over. And so I've been like hurrying to save as much as I can from that and actually not getting any sewing done. Now here's the tea. Um, I need to go get more thread because I do have some thread, but it's not the right color. And this is one of those things that the pattern, if you look at it, it wants you to like top stitch over um, quite a lot of the, the spots here as like an extra, extra added detail. And so for that, you're gonna want the thread to match or at least be really close and i only have like a lilac colored thread and see this material 
is very like deep purple, violet. Oh look, my pot full of plastic things are overflowing. It's great, it's wonderful. Um, anyway, so I think I might pin some stuff together, but then when the traffic goes, it dies down. When the traffic dies down, I will go to Joanne, get some thread, and maybe sew a couple pieces together. Maybe I should attempt to the to the pot of boiling cake decorating supplies. Okay. You never see me anywhere except for like in my house, but here I am. I do wear a mask outside. I am a homosexual. I am just leaving the Joanne's, and I do have purple thread. And no more gift card balance, so that's it. Also, I was looking at, um, what was I looking at? I was looking at trim for the jacket while I was in there, because I want to do trim like the Gene Wilder version has. And they really have nothing. They had one thing that I thought might look kind of cool, but it's super expensive. So I think I might buy trim somewhere else. We shall see. Hi, I'd like to apologize briefly for how manic this vlog is. Um, but, and I I don't know exactly. I mean, I think it's just because I was moving and really was tired. Oh, yeah. Here's where my uh, light went out on my on my thing because I was over surging everything. Anyways, um, I'm not really helping this vlog be less manic. Um, <clears throat> ignore the pile of alcohol on top of my tiny fridge. It makes me look like a perpetual bachelor. Not that I'm not, but I just didn't have anywhere else to put it. I'm in my kitchen, my kitchen. I own it. I own this kitchen. Nice. My plans for this house are eventually I'm going to have a downstairs area to sew in and do other crafting things. But that's not really ready right now. And the fact of the matter is it's the Monday before reading time and I have like 20% of a coat done. So that feels not good. I need to get that done and I am inviting you along. So basically what have I done? I put some like front panels together and I have a bunch of pieces that still haven't been taken off of the pattern being pinned to them. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. Oh, I got some trim delivered to me. It's pretty nifty looking. It's just like this normal, this was really inexpensive from Etsy. Um, but it'll look really nice on the edge of the coat, I think. Can you see it? Can you see it? But that is kind of like a last touch. And it's like, it's 9.30 in the morning on Monday. I gotta see how far I can get because facts are facts, America. I have a bunch of things to do in the evenings this week and I, I'm short on time. We'll just suffice to say. So yeah, watch me sew.
Hi, I'm in a comfy thing and it's the next day. So I got pretty far as you could see and that's good. I had to go to the store to get some interfacing because I have a lot of interfacing needs that I did not satisfy during my initial purchasing trip. I have been just buying things here and there. The other thing ugh, that I got was the shoulder pads, which I've never actually put shoulder pads in a outfit before. But see, she looks really nice. You can see here, and I'm hoping that this will make me look nice. And that's the plan today. I need to clear off this counter since it's the only flat surface that I have except for the floor. So I can cut these pieces, iron them on, and continue with the collar and the, um, what are they calling it? Like the lining facing. Because it's not an actual lining, but it is a facing. And that will help make all the raw edges go away. And then also enclose the zipper so there's less of like that lavender tone and more not, not any of that and then also put the shoulder pads in. And then I'm having a feeling that this trim thing is going to become a do it while you're doing other things thing. So that's the plan. I know that there's a light for this thing that I can turn on to make. It's not plugged in. Goodbye. Oh, hi. So, hi, yes. Yeah, so this is the coat. Um, I'm not done with it, but I'm really close. So I I did a nice, um, let's see if you can see, a top stitch to this seam right here. So this is really nice. Um, this can close now, which is really good. I need to tack in the shoulders to the thing, the stuff. And I also need to put the shoulder pads in. They look like this. I'll just, you know, do some of that. And then, yeah, and then put the trim on and then this is done. Uh, I'm probably gonna be working on this a little bit while I am having meetings tonight. I have a call. And then I am forgetting, like all the time, I'm forgetting that I I also have a necktie that I was gonna make to go along with this. So I need to do that as well. But today, jacket's the most important thing. That's what's happening.
Da. Okay. Hi. What, wait, did I plug this in? Yeah, so why am I not turning the light on? Hello. Um, so it, oh God, it's Thursday evening. I have to have this done. I should, this should be done, but it's not. The jacket's done for all intents and purposes. It's over there. You just saw it. I put the trim on it. It's cute. It's nice. It's cute. Um, I realize that I don't really have a plan for the pants that I'm going to wear, but I think I'm just going to wear khakis and call it a day. I don't know. Anyways, last thing to do is this thing. So this is, this is the me using stuff that I already own part of the project. And then, so I'm going to, I'm going to lay this out. I'm going to cut the pieces out. And, um, what time is it? I don't even know. It's 8.22 in the evening. It's 8.22 in the evening and I um, have an intense need to go to bed by nine. So we're gonna get as much of this done as possible. I don't have high hopes, but we're gonna try. Okay, hi, this is me and like my like, hey, this is me like having gotten everything done thing that I usually do. So I haven't shown you a lot of these elements I realized. This is the hat that I'm gonna wear. It's really cute, I bought it. This is the wig that I'm gonna wear. It's really cute. I bought it, I brush it out, nothing crazy there. This is the, um, the bow that I was working on last night and I kind of just finished it. I. Don't, I don't really have time to sit and like measure and put a little bunch of snaps. So I just pulled off like some old ribbon from another outfit I had done and taped it off and I'm gonna tie it around my, my neck and that's gonna be it. This is the, the shirt I'm gonna wear and uh, I have pants coming in the morning and this is the jacket and this is, this is it. So yeah, anyways, when you see me in just a couple seconds, I'm gonna be all dressed up and I'm gonna look all really pretty. Okay, here we go. Hi, yes, I'm sorry I didn't film a traditional ending. I kept forgetting or just not having enough time or whatever. Basically, I just wanna say that I do like this outfit. It turned out really nice. I thought it really gave the effect that I was looking for. All in all, I do think that there are some places that it's a little tight. Um, I think especially in the chest area. I don't know if it was, I think it just might have needed to be a size up, but. Um, the other thing is, I would like to see this outfit with a gold bow, which is what Gene Wilder is wearing in the movie, but I do really like the fact that I was able to use old stuff that I already have. So, please just admire this outfit for a little bit longer. Oh, I should also mention, that cane was from my senior project. My best friend Courtney made it, so shout out to her. Um, I've kept it all these years. Love you guys very much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.